Hi guys, Steph here from the Novelty Corner and today I wanted to show you some pocket letters that I've received in the mail. Um, I do apologise about the lighting. Um, it isn't a particularly bright day here today so the lighting isn't fabulous and there's going to be a little bit of shadows. Um, but hopefully you guys will st still be able to see um, these really wonderful pocket letters that I've received. Um, so I'll start with two that I actually purchased from... Etsy and this was right back when I first found out about pocket letters and for those of you who aren't familiar with pocket letters they are like pen pal letters in these really fun trading card wallets and you can make them as arty and artistic as you like. Uh, so a couple of months ago when I first found out about them I was doing some research and I found some stores on Etsy that sell them and I'll leave linked, links to these stores because I'll horribly pronounce the uh, Etsy store names. Um, but yeah, so these are the ones that I received first. So I'll start with the one that I ordered first, which was from Planner Addict. And this is how it came. It did come just in a regular size envelope, um, but it's got the beautiful little sleeve and a fun little peg that says Happy Day. And a little note saying thank you for the order. And a little doily. And all of these things I'll repurpose in either my planner or my project life. So, now I'm not going to be able to get the whole thing on camera all at one time, but I will be able to show you as I go along. Okay, so in this first pocket there's a lovely uh, gold foil quote card that says, You're my shining star, that's what you are, and these really fun paper clips, which would be perfect for planning. Then there is a little shaker pocket with these beautiful like little wood veneer sequins and some actual sequins which are really fun. And then these really cool wood veneers. I don't have any hot air balloons or worlds or cameras or anything like that. Um, there is a set of stamps. One that says lovely, super, one with an ampersand and one with a little tab. Um, there is, oops, she says dropping everything out of the pockets. A little sample of washi tape and I actually don't have any of these washi tapes which is really fantastic so I can't wait to use those. Um, some little uh, tags, these ones I think are little tabs because they've got the punch out. Oops, oh there's another one behind there. Little tabs so you can actually use them to highlight things either in project life or planning. There are, down the bottom in this pocket, some stickers. Some gold foil stickers. And some green and orange theme little planning stickers as well. Um, this store does sell uh, planner stickers, so they're little offcuts or something from what the other products that she, sh she sells. Down in this pocket, there's this really cute little quote card and a little cork piece. Oh, can I get them back in? Probably not. Oh, there we go. Um, and then these little badges as well down the bottom. So this project letter isn't decorated on the back, which is perfectly fine. Some people decorate the back, some people don't. I'm just going to pop some of these pieces back in so I don't lose them. So the second pocket letter that I received from a purchase on Etsy, I think the story's Itzel. I will post um, the link down below. And this one is a beautiful kind of grey and gold and silver pocket letter and it's just stunning. And I should point out that both of these pocket letters, I didn't know what I was actually going to get in the pocket letter. It was like a mystery pocket letter so you just purchase it and um, these sellers obviously have a whole stack made up ready to go. So this one is full of uh, little tags. There's a little chalk tag that says hi. Uh, there's these little fun gift tags and I'm obsessed with gift tags. So one says with love, one says enjoy, and one says cheers. And I think these might be chalkboard as well. And the papers for the uh, cards are just gorgeous. Um, this pocket has stickers. And I am really liking the black and white. Oh, that's been 
secure it at the back so that I don't move around too much. So those are really cool. Big fan of black and white, so those will come in very handy. Okay. Then there's this one which has, I think this is a, yep, this is a little sticker that says I love us. Some really cute little mason jar punch out shapes. A wood veneer that says together. This one also has some little clear stamps, so it's probably a little bit tricky to see. So there is like a little um, dot point. There are some glasses. Hang on, let's see if I can pull them out. If it'll give it a clear view. Okay, some glasses, a little flower. And that one looks like it is a hexagon dot point as well. It's a little bit tricky to see. Let's see if I can focus it. That's the problem with shiny things. I don't tend to like the camera very much. Um, again, some washi tape. This time with some gold foil washi tape some, and some teal. I don't have any of these either, so that'll be really, really fun. And this one has some burlap with... Oh, it's gone out of focus. Camera's gone out of focus. My apologies. Um, burlap with a really fun flower. So those were the ones that I got off Etsy. Um, I'm also part of the Pocket Letter Pals um, group, which is run on a website called pocketletterpals.com, where you can sign up for pocket letter swaps. So earlier um, last month, I signed up to a spring theme swap and my partner's name was Jane and she uh, sent me this really beautiful pocket letter and she's from Canada so she also sent me this really cool keyring from Canada. Okay, so I'll show you the front and then we'll go through the pockets. And there are some little details on the back which is really fun. Okay, so in the first pocket up the top there is a Tazo green ginger tea because one of the things about pocket letters traditionally is that you send uh, your pocket letter pal some tea and on the oh, sorry in the back of the pocket there are these really fun cutouts with watercolor on them so they're really cool I really do like those colors they're nice and nice and spring themed it, it's winter here in Australia so this is kind of uh, reminding me of warmer times now this is actually a little pocket is a little mini book Let's see if I can pull it out so it looks like she's handmade this little mini book which will be really fun to actually use I think for like a little mini uh, scrapbook or something like that beautiful thick page like thick card pages it's really really lovely I'll pop that in afterwards. Then there is some little bike note paper and a little rabbit bunny clip. And on the back there are some uh, sticker flowers. There is a shaker pocket in the middle row with some little tags and some cork um, stickers and some orange sequins. Uh, in here is the little note and I won't take that out, I've actually read the note. Um, and this beautiful butterfly paper clip. So let's see if I can take that out. And that's really pretty. Okay, there is. Oh, sorry, knocked the camera again. There is another shaker pocket this time with some washi tape samples. And again, I don't think I have any of these tapes in really nice spring colours. Plus some more chipboard, chipboard, wood veneer. <laughs> oh, mine went blank. I've only said it a few times. Um, wood veneer pieces and some hexagon sequins. Down the bottom there are some sticky notes, there's an enjoy sticker, a stamp from Pink Paisley and I don't have any of the Pink Paisley stamps so that's really cool. Um, another tea, this one is the English Breakfast Awake Tea by Tarzo. And I don't think we can get the Tarzo tea here in Australia, I mean feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I should say there's a little um, magnetic bookmark here as well. There is um, one of those Dimenti stickers in an arrow shape and a project life card that says life is an adventure. So that's pretty much those pocket letters. Uh, I am waiting on two more to come from swaps with 
on Pocket Letter Pals, so when I get those I will share them with you. But I also wanted to show you one, something that I got from a friend of mine. Now this is definitely not going to be able to see the whole thing on the camera because I'm going to knock into the stand, but I have a friend who lives in Philly um, and she actually made me three pocket letters plus a little binder as well. So this binder I think is eight and a half by 11 inches, which seems to be the standard US letter size um, to store my pocket letters in. And she actually made me three. So I'm going to take them out um, because otherwise we're not going to be able to see them all. Um, but she's added some little tassels and things to her pocket letters. So let's see if I can take them out. So there are three of them all together. Okay, the last one may not come out, so I may have to show it on the camera. Okay, so I'll start with the very last one in the folder. And this one is done in beautiful pinks and blacks. Oh, I'm going to have to see if I can get it out because this is not going to work. Okay, there we go. So, there we go. Very, very shiny. Uh, we like our glitter. And, um, yeah, I mean, she's decorated these beautifully, beautiful papers and all sorts of things. So in these ones, we weren't trying to, and I've got a few that I'm about to send off to her. We weren't trying to necessarily send heaps and heaps of supplies, whereas we were just kind of more going for the arty effect. So, yeah, I mean, these ones are really beautiful. There are definitely thing, elements in these that I could pull out and use for other things like the key, little key charm little bracelet charms. She's a big fan of octopuses, octopi. So that's one of the pocket letters. Okay, this is another pink and black one, which is really, really pretty. I love the little doilies and the glitter and all the charms. And this, on the back of this one, she has included some little bits and pieces like little stick-on gems, some of these which I haven't seen before. Um, these look like some more stickers, some black little ones, some silver ones. Her letter to me, which actually has a poem in it that I really like. More bits and pieces. I think these ones are some, let's see if I can pull one of them out. Little transparent ephemera pieces, which I really like. Then down the bottom, all of these coloured stick-on gems, which are just so pretty. Who doesn't like a little bit of glitter and shiny, sparkly things in their lives? And this last one is because we are big comic book fans, and a lot of what we talk about tends to be uh, comic book related. So, in particular, X-Men or uh, Batman related. So here we have a little phoenix symbol, uh, which... It looks like she's actually uh, done herself with uh, glitter paints, which is really cool. I wish I had her talent for that. Uh, this one looks like a un like a school uniform dress, which is really cool. Again, all very sparkly. I hope you can see that on the camera. Lots of bits and pieces. A Batman symbol down the bottom. An X-Men symbol. This one is a Nightwing symbol and another Batman symbol but this one I think is more um, Batgirl. And then these beautiful little charms that say Imagine, Saw and Courage. And she decorated the back of them which is just amazing. So yes, so those are my pocket letters and I really hope that you liked having a little bit of a sneak peek into them. I am planning on making some more pocket letters to share in my store. Um, so if you're interested in those, please let me know down below. I'm thinking of doing some colour theme um, pages or pocket letters um, that could be used for planners. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.